Good morning, children. Welcome to science class. Children, now we'll discuss about chapter thirteen, natural disasters. So, what is natural disaster? Natural disasters are natural events that kill people, damage property or the environment. Cyclones, floods, and drought are some natural disasters that are caused due to violent changes in weather. However, there are some other natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanoes, which occur due to changes inside the earth. Let us discuss one by one. First one is floods. Floods are caused due to the overflowing of water into land. Floods happen due to different regions, such as when there is a heavy rainfall for several days, the water in the rivers rises and overflows into dry land. It enters fields and damages crops. Houses collapse and people are rendered homeless further water sources get contaminated when people drink this water there can be an outbreak of cholera jaundice diarrhea severe floods can be kill cattle and even people Sometimes, floods called flash floods occur due to a sudden cloud burst or thunderstorm, means heavy rainfall. Huge amounts of water fall on the ground in a short time. So, in cities and towns, the drains overflow and roads become flooded. Flash floods also happen in mountain regions, causing the water to come down at high speeds. The rushing water washes away all the soil. Human beings can also cause floods. When dams are built in places where earthquakes occur, they break and water floods the land. Sometimes dams which are poorly designed collapse and cause floods. When floods rise slowly, people have time to move to safer places. But when there are sudden floods, people are caught unwares. This can cause heavy loss of property and lives. Then cyclones. Cyclones are strong winds accompanied by thunder, lightning, and heavy rains. They occur when low pressure depression develops in oceans. Cyclones bring heavy floods. They uproot trees, damage houses, blow away electrical lines, and Telephone lines. Road and rail transport come to a halt. Air services are also disrupted. Life comes to a standstill. Then drought. A drought happens where there is no rain for a long time. Rivers and streams dry up. As a result, Crops die. Crops die. Even animals die when there is severe drought. There is less food for people to eat. This can lead to a famine. Many people could die due to starvation, prolonged periods of drought and famine in an area can also lead to epidemic children famine means 
extreme scarcity of food and starvation means lack of food and epidemic means a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Then earthquake. Earthquake is the shaking or rolling of the earth surface. More than a million earthquakes occur every year. You cannot predict earthquakes. They can happen anytime and anywhere in the world. There are about 20 plates along the earthquakes surface of the earth. They move in different directions and at different speeds. Sometimes they move apart or bump into each other or side under each other. This causes to crust, to crack or break. In such places where such changes happen, the earth's crust experience big shocks. These shocks cause vibration which spread through the earth surface. We call this an earth when earthquake occurs, that part of the earth experiences tremors. These tremors usually last less than a minute. Some of them are so mild that they pass unnoticed. Some of them are very powerful. They create vast opening in the earth surface. They cause buildings, bridges and to collapse. In the worst cases, they cause loss to human lives. Some places on the earth are highly prone to earthquakes. Japan has the highest incidence of earthquakes. Then, volcanoes. Children, you know, a seismograph is an instrument used to measure the intensity of an earthquake. You remember. Then volcanoes are opening in the earth's crust to understand that causes volcanoes. You need to know what the earth is made up of. The earth has children three layers, crust, metal and core. Crust is made up of solid rock. Metal is made up of thick layer of molten rock called magma and the core is made up of an outer liquid layer and solid center. So, crust is a solid layer and core is a liquid layer. When the heat inside the earth surface rises, the molten magma makes its way upwards through the crust. This hot magma on reaching the earth surface is called lava. When it cools, it becomes solid and forms rock. Volcanoes can trigger tsunamis, flash floods, mud floors, rock falls and earthquake. They can also knock down entire forest. Besides this, they can have a serious effect on people and the environment. Buildings can be damaged, there can be loss of lives, poisonous gas that kill people and animals are given out, clouds of us are released, strong winds and heavy rains may flow a volcanic eruption. Children, there are three types of volcanoes, active, dormant and extinct. Active volcanoes are one which has erupted recently and has very every possibility to erupt again. Dormant volcano means one which has not erupted for a long time 
but with the possibility of erupting in the future. And extinct volcano means one which erupted thousands of years ago with no possibility of erupting again. Then preparing for natural calamity. First one is gathering information from the radio, TV or newspapers in the first step to prepare yourself to face the disaster. Then you should be aware of what natural disasters could strike your area and how you can save yourself from them. For example, when there is an earthquake, the safest things to do would be to move to the open area. In situations where you are forced to leave your homes, you should remember to carry a fully stocked first aid kit. Some medicines, water and food for the next few days. Then digester management. When natural calamities occur, Rescue workers swing into action. People are moved to safe areas. Food, water and medicines are supplied. Relief camps are set up by the government to provide help to the victims. Doctors are on duty round the clock during such times to prevent the outbreak of the epidemic. Many social organizations also take up relief work and help the effect, affected people with food, water, clothes and medicines. Natural calamities can change or cause great loss of lives and property, but good preparation by the both government and individuals can minimize the destruction caused by by natural calamities. Some preventive measures can also help to reduce the damage, creating awareness in people about the ways in which they can cope with natural calamities, will surely help them to meet the challenges successfully. So children, these are the chapter of natural disasters and some are natural disasters given in your book and also you learn how to take necessary steps when natural disasters occurs. Again you read this chapter at your home. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.